Hey there, really quick before this video gets going, I want to say thank you so much for watching my videos, for watching this channel, for subscribing. You guys are awesome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that button and there's a lot more good content coming. But what I wanted to say really quick is that uh, the GoPro that we had to borrow, I had to give back. I've had some amazing fishing trips the last few weeks without the camera. I caught 20 fish in two hours, nine different species. That would have been an amazing video. I've got some phone footage, but it's not the same. Yesterday, I caught my first nurse shark. That would have been amazing to have up front, up close uh, content with this about three foot nurse shark. She was beautiful. Again, phone doesn't look the same. But anyways, I've got a link in the description. We're looking for maybe 13 people who can give $50 toward that and that would cover the whole thing, all the equipment, all the accessories that we need. So look in the description and there might even be a video right here showing the full length video where I talked about the equipment we need. But for now, let's get to fishing. Hey there, fishing girl. We are out here at Flagler Beach. It is the late afternoon, about four o'clock in the afternoon, low tide. Let me turn you around here so you can see. There's people like way down. We've either, we've either got to go way, way down there or chance it right here. There's a few people, but maybe I can walk it out. I did see some birds diving right here in front of us. So that's always a good sign. I got my friends meeting me and they have a little one. So I don't want them to have to walk halfway down the beach <laughs> a half a mile just to find us. So let's get set up and see what we can do. I actually can walk this out. It's low tide right now. I'm gonna walk this out halfway to the sandbar and toss it from there. So um, I'm sure that my, I've got all of these wires up here because I don't want it to get wet. So I've moved my, my receiver up. So hopefully, and as long as I don't fall in the water, we will be fine. So we're gonna walk this out, see what happens. I definitely wouldn't have been able to do that from the beach. I wouldn't have gotten that distance from the beach. So I walked that line out. I don't know if you can see it. We'll keep a watch and we'll see what happens. Uh, my line is bobbing, so I may have something. Nice. Try it. Testing this out to see if it's waves. I it may be a fish. I'm not convinced yet. I think that is a fish. It's really, really far out there. It is way out. This is gonna be a lot of reeling. Okay, now he's in the uh, trough here. Oh, cat fit two. Double. Oh, it's a whiting and a catfish. I got doubles. That's a pretty good sized cat too. We got doubles on the Pompano Ridge, Pompano Rig. Is it it's not Pompano, but it's fish, and we're not skunked. Is that a catfish? Yeah, hardhead. You should tell Andy to see if he starts getting PTSD. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Eventually, I am going to do a catch and cook with a catfish. So, if you're watching this and you want me to do a catch and cook with catfish, let me know. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna grab the uh, whiting first. Your, your line out with me you put that back? Yeah. Cool. Okay, like so short. trying to get this figured out here. We got Mr. Whiting. All right, we got a hard head catfish here. Ouch, and I almost stepped on my Sputnik. Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna let him go. Should I use just fish bites or should I try some frozen shrimp like this? Um, you could do some shrimp. I haven't seen sand fleas yet. There's a lot of shells. They don't like to hang out where there's a lot of shells, so we may not see them right now. But we're gonna bait this back up and walk it back out. Okay, I've got another Pompano Rich rig here. This one's white with the white and pink. And I've got salted clam and some salted shrimp on the bottom. And I've got a sand flea fish bite and salted shrimp on the top. I'm gonna toss this out here and see what happens. I'm gonna 
go ahead and reel it in. This, this may be more than just waves. Uh, it feels like there might be something on there. I think when it's on the other side of the sandbar, it's harder to tell. So you've got the, the line might be like resting on the sandbar maybe, slightly. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. What though? My arm already hurts from casting or reeling so much. Oh, yeah, I got something. Swimming in. And it's another catfish. He's going back. See him? We'll let him give a camera a kiss. All right. Say goodbye to Mr. Catfish. Don't go on our other lines. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't subscribed yet, push that subscribe. We got more great content coming out. Uh, this particular day, it was a hot day. It was in the middle of summer. Uh, I was gonna be fishing as we were meeting my friend. So kind of limited time and location. They had a child. I didn't want to go too far away from where that access point was on the beach. But I'm convinced the only reason that I caught those three fish was because I walked all the way out to the sandbar and then I casted from there. I was able to reach fish that I wouldn't have been able to reach otherwise. There might have been fish in that trough in front of us, but uh, honestly, when I was fishing there later, I didn't get one single bite. So that was just a little lesson about sometimes you have to make sure that you're putting your line where the fish are. And sometimes you may have to walk out to a sandbar on a low tide. Make sure you're doing that stingray shuffle though. Yesterday I was out and there was stingrays coming right up next to the shore. And I had to warn some people that had little kids in the water just a little ways down where it was heading. So be on the lookout, be on the watch for stingrays, for sharks, different things that are dangerous. But yeah, sometimes you're gonna have to go out to the sandbar and cast from there to get the depth of water and the coolness of the water that the fish are looking for. That is it for today. We'll catch you next time. And until then, we'll see ya. God bless.